Ladies and gentlemen, we are at week two. We just came back from a big show the other week. Um, we are creeping on the end of the season. I can't stop saying it, sir. And then it's official. Season four, you have your first official show. Um, I'm so happy that you stuck it out and helped me out with NXT. Uh, it meant a lot to me, and for doing that, I rewarded you with your own so your own show in season four, and I'm excited that you agreed to come back and do that with me. So before we get into any of that, with me as always is the freak of NXT humanoid. How are you today, sir? Good evening, NXT. I am doing great. Oh. Yeah, you gotta bow down. Bow down to that ass. Oh, GG. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, as always, we will get back to the action when the bell rings. And her partner, representing Toxic Attraction from Tampa, Florida, JC Jane. Yes, so before we cut uh, cut the end, the intro, uh, we were talking about Gigi, but Gigi is not the only female in this match. We got the beautiful Bella Twins here tonight. They are beautiful, but it in the ring. Now the question is, who, who, who would you marry, Nikki or Brie? Because she be the, seems to be the fun one. Yeah, yeah, the one that goes outside and shit. Yeah, because Nikki Bella looks like she's too into herself. Brie yeah. Bella, Brie Bella went for a guy like Daniel Bryan. Like that says enough. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Exactly. Like Daniel Bryan, like he's a god in wrestling, but he's not the most handsome man in all the land. Right, right. And they they go camping together. They live outside. They go to the ah. Uh, me and the wife a few years ago were watching the Total Divas or whatever, and it was uh, the episode where uh, the Bella Twins, see, where Brie Bella and Daniel Bryan went to that uh, that resort, that TP resort, and they like got in touch with themselves and shit, and then he like had like heart problems or something, and Nikki would never do that shit. She would never step outside her comfort zone. Yes, she wouldn't like. Nikki's all about the sex and stuff, like, looking sexy. Brie Bella does that, too, but she looks like she has more fun. Yes, yes, exactly. Like, the fun one. Okay. And sad to say, I only seen one episode of Total Divas, and that was the first episode. <laughs> Listen, the wife loves the, uh... She loves the reality shows, and then when she found out that wrestling had it, and that was Total Divas, we had to watch it together. So we watched, I think, like, five seasons of it together, because... That was our thing to do whenever we had the weekends together. Yeah, that makes sense. The wife does like the Total Bellas. Yep. Uh, what, what, is Total, wait, Total Bellas, or what was that other show that they had all of them? That was, Total Divas was another one, wasn't it? Total, Total Divas, yeah. Yeah, Total Divas, yep. Wait, so I saw the first episode of Total Divas, not Total Bellas, because, right. yeah, I got that confused. Yep, yep, But, yep. I'm not going to lie, I... Saw some clips of when Dean Ambrose and Renee Paquette were on it. Yes, yes, I, yes. I, I'm not going to lie, I would watch the shit out of that season. Right? Just have Dean just, be fucking nuts. No, because Dean Ambrose clearly doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You can see that on the screen when he's doing this, because he's hilarious. Oh, yeah. So speak, So moving on towards the fourth late lady of the match, J.C. Jane going to fly. J.C. Jane going to fly. Oh, but they're counting them out. Fly, JC, Jeff, fly. Fly! 
damn! Holy shit! Supreme move. Mm-hmm. Getting back in that ring. Oh, nice. Raise the roof, Bree. Raise the go. roof. Oh, look at GGN. Oh, off rebound catcher. Oh, nice so duck. What does the wife think of Gigi Dolan? Okay, she says, so she's not a fan of NXT, but we watched it together, and we watched, uh, Toxic Attraction, and I'm like, so babe, what do you think of her? And she looks at me and she goes, I don't get it. And I'm like, what's yeah. not to get? She goes, she is pretty and all that, but I don't get it. And I'm like, oh, damn it. I'm like, yeah. I think she, it's the same thing with like when women watch any Steve Martin movie, they don't get it. Yeah. She said that it reminded her of Poison Ivy with the green outfit and then the red hair. She's like, that's all I yeah. got from her. And I'm like, okay. That too. Yeah, I mean, she does have a point. Poison Ivy there. Yeah. Oh, watch out for the... Okay. Ooh, nice takedown. Oh, working that leg. There you go. Snap it. Doctor Who ref checking to see if she's going to say, I give up. There she go. Oh, damn. <laughs> I can't get... I can't get that... It's like the referee looks so much like Peter Capaldi's Doctor Who. Right. Yes. Like Peter Capaldi, ref. Uh, there's no one in the ring. <laughs> yep, yep, JC. Come on, JC, do something. Are you going to double team? It's looking like they're trying to... No. They're, they're just looking. Yep, they were trying to time it. It just wasn't working. There you go. Yeah, there you go. She's taunting her. Yep. She's taunting. Yep. They have flex on them. See what you did? Now Bree's gonna fuck your shit up, JC. Punch out Nikki. No, yes, that's now they're, a good girl. Yep, now they're just fighting each other. Oh, Nikki's down. Oh, Nikki's yes. Down. So I gotta ask, since you stepped in for Dylan on Friday, what do you think of ECW? ECW is great. I like it. It's great. <laughs> it's, <laughs> I enjoyed it. <laughs> oh. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Did it inspire you to maybe have ECW rules on NXT, or are you like, no, 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 we're, we are good, we're good? Oh, we can do an ECW rules type thing, like old school ECW. Damn. This That'd man, be a great idea. This man saying that I am the freak and king of all of GM verse. Bring him all. Look, <laughs> Ring of Honor, <laughs> ECW, TNA. Well, not TNA. <laughs> This man's going to fight over Ring of Honor and ECW and NXT and AEW and Monday Night Raw. Uh, from, uh, James, uh, Dylan, we coming for you, uh, censored. <laughs> David Otunga. <laughs> yeah. Uh, GD's winding her up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Boy, no. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Nikki picking her up. Bam! Damn! Oh, face buster. Damn! That might be it. JC might not be stopping it. No, never mind. Oh, she kicked out. Never mind. Holy shit. There you go. Pulling the hair. So, in your opinion... So, so tell the folks what you've been doing on your Discord and everything, because I'm going to link that as well. But So, tell the people what you're doing, because that is going to lead me to my question for you. Uh, which Discord? Uh, the one that you invited me to, and you guys are doing something special together. Oh, no, no, that's not my Discord, that's my friend's Discord. And we oh, just okay. invite okay. wrestling fans that we know of, and, like, we started doing Royal Rumble watch-alongs, not the, uh, event, just the pay-per-view. Right. I mean, sorry, not the, not the pay-per-view itself, but the matches, it's, the, sorry, the Rumble itself? Yes, yes. So we started with 1988. Now we're on all the way in, we just finished 2013 today. Okay. And it's awesome, it's like, it could be either be awesome or just torture. Right. All right. It's from 1988 to 1991, they were all bad. 
So since we're watching a female match, that led me to my question to you. Um, if you were, let's just assume you were a female wrestler. Who's the number one fe fe number one female from the from the time that it started up until now? Who is the number one fe female that you would be most scared of? Most scared of? Yes. Uh, uh, goddamn it! What was her name? Uh, Asia Kong? No, not Asia awesome Kong. Awesome Kong. Bertha Faye. What was her Japanese name? She was terrifying. Oh. No, Bull Nakano. Bull Nakano's that one. Who is? I don't know that name. Bull Nakano was a Japanese female wrestler. She was a. She was like a monster, but then she joined WWF in like ninety three, ninety four. Oh damn! And she. And you know how in that era they just tame you? Yeah. She wasn't there for that long, but no, Bull Nakano was a massive beast in Japan. Damn. Holy shit. Yeah, she'd be my number one, and then number two would be, uh, uh Awesome Kong. Oh, god damn, that woman was a beast. Yes. Damn. Then three, Jazz. Uh, but I get to pick top five. Bull Nakano, Awesome Kong, Jazz, uh, Luna Vachon, Sherry Martell. Now, would China be top ten or top twenty? Top 20. Okay, okay, okay. Wasn't there a chick in the IRS that was beef, beef, beefy too? IRS? Yeah, was it? No, what, what? Right to censor. Wasn't there a right to censor group that had like a jacked female back in the day? Oh, Ivory? No, not Ivory. It was like a white chick with blonde hair, but she was like the next China. She was like really muscular. Oh, you're thinking of Nicole Bass from ECW. Yes, 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 yes. She was a weightlifter, not <laughs> really a wrestler, but yeah, she was mostly a weightlifter. Okay, okay. Nicole Bass, and she was awful in the ring. Damn. They always are, man. The bodybuilders, man. You rarely get a good body. But from my opinion, from my experience from what, what, watching it, you're either... God, you rarely get the perfect within between. Yeah. Like, Speaking of Nicole Bass, like, ECW crowd didn't went hard on her. <laughs> did they? Every time she came out, dude, she'd do a chant, She's a man! She's a man! God damn! The ECW crowd was, was savage back then. Oh, yeah. Like if, like if the generation thought that they were mean towards C Cena, they were fucking, well, plus they're from Philly, bro. Philly crowds are fucking nasty. Yeah, of course. Ooh, cover. Oh, god oh, damn. Oh, no. save just in time. Just in time. Just incredible, man. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is just incredible. <laughs> Shit. Ooh, nice. Tag. There you go. All right, all right, what, what do we got? Double suplex! Damn! Twin magic. Alright, so I think... I, think that was I don't think I asked you this. Alright, oh, I will... Buster again. I will ask you if this gets broken up. Yes, it does. Okay. So, back in the day, uh, moves back then were powerful and they're overused nowadays. Like, the DDT is overused now, but back in the day, it was like the move. DDT yeah, and all that. Words. So, in your opinion, of the basic moves that were po powerful back in the day, which do you think, when when done right, is the most devastating move done? From back in the day? Or From back or in the day. So, like, the now? DDTs, the Brain Buster, the Suplex. Like, when done right, which which back in the day was the the, like, the greatest move done? Oh, of course the super kick, because like that was used once and the match was over, but now everybody does it in every match. Yeah, that is true. That is true. The Usos and uh, the Young Bucks do a fucking a lot. Man. Yeah. Ooh. Also, there's a full count. One. Oh, oh, damn. Save. 
Damn! Damn. There's the flying elbow by Macho Man that would end the match. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't. The leg drop by Hulk Hogan that would end the leg match. Leg drop. The DDT by Jake Roberts. He did it so fucking beautiful. Yeah, you know that was invented by accident by him, right? Oh, was it? Yeah, he said, like, oh, I invented that by accident because I had a guy in my thing and then there was something slippery on the floor and I fell. And that's how it happened. Damn. Oh, uh, what did Jerry the King do? Oh, the the fist off the top rope. Yeah. Pile driver. Yes. Damn. Simple moves that finished the match. And then there was the Million Dollar Dream by Ted DiBiase. Yep. Uh, try to think of something. A Canadian Destroyer. Uh, the Scorpion Death Drop. What was Sting's? The Scorpion Death... Death... The Scorpion Death Lock, yeah? Yes, in yes, the, yes. In the Stinger Splash. Yeah. Damn! Oh! Toxic Attraction for the win. Holy shit! GG does so it. There's so many moves from back in the day that now people just go, eh, what is? Yup. Yup. Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, Ch Ch Chavo Guerrero's, uh, Widowmaker would never do- No, 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 the Gory Bomb. The Gory Bomb the gory wouldn't bomb. do a fucking thing nowadays. <sighs> yeah. Lance Archer versus Elias. Yeah. Let's go. So, uh, predictions. Lance Archer or Elias? What are you thinking? I, I always go with Lance Archer. You do? I like Elias, but he's Elias. Do you walk with Elias? I always walk with Elias, but he ain't gonna win. Well, with that being said, folks, you have his prediction. We're gonna be back when the bell rings. Making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 270 pounds, the superstar Lance Arthur. And his opponent from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 222 pounds, Elias! Here we go. Another move from back in the day would be... The big boot to the face. Oh just yeah, the big, the big boot. Yeah. So many simple moves like the spine buster. Art Anderson used to do that all the time. The cutter. Like, just end the match. Who who and, who who did the cutter first? Was it Diamond Dallas Page or was it um, who's the Bella's uncle that or stepdad or whatever? Johnny, John Lawrence. Yes, yes, yes. Who did it first, Johnny Ace or was it Don Dale's page? It was John Laurinaitis, sadly. He did it to Ace Crusher. Oh, damn. Then yeah, Don Dale's page did it. Then Mikey Whipwreck. Then Stone Cold. Then, wait, hold on. What movie are we talking about? The Cutter. The Cutter. The, cu the Cutter, yeah. Stone Cold. Mikey Whipwreck. Stone Cold. Ray the Orton. Damn. Because the stunner is... Like a cutter, but in a different way. Uh, true, true, true. Yep. That, that I can see it because the cutter you fall straight on your back with the stunner you fall on your ass. So yeah, yeah. So yeah. So I guess yeah. Like it's a different variation. Like you know how a spear is a spear, but then Rhino has his core. Yes, 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 yes. It's it's all about how you do it. Yes. Yeah. Be it that too, the stunner too. Like one thing from Stone Cold, it's done. But now Kevin do, do, does it like twenty times a match. Oh yeah, Kevin. Kevin Owens. I thought you said Kevin done there for a second. No, like, no, wait, no. What? And then uh, Darby Darby Allen does like a weird like you Call catch him in like the wheelbarrow, you lift him up, and he like stuns you like like blah blah yeah. Yeah. And like I said, like the Canadian Destroyer, back when Petey William first used it in TNA, 
that was the ultimate finishing move, and now just everybody, everybody just does it in yeah. mid match. Yeah. That move was oh my god! The first time I saw it, I was like, oh my god, he's dead. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think anybody kicks out of the frog splash, really. Uh, some have. I can. I just know some have, but like, yeah, it has happened. Okay. But not compared to the super kick. 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 Kick out. Kick. Like. Who, does better, uh, who do you think does a better frog splash? I'm an Eddie Guerrero. I'm a Eddie Guerrero and Rob Van Dam guy. I like Rob Van Dam's version because he always looks like he killed himself doing it. Yes. Montez Ford does a good one too. The way he get gets the, the fucking height and shit. He does it good. Yeah. Yes. Yes he does. But I don't like... See, I liked Rey Mysterio when he did the 619 and then he was still on the outside and he got on the top rope and did, like, the Hurricane Rana off it and shit, but... The West Coast pub. Yes, yes, but now I guess because he's getting old and shit, like, like maybe he can't do it no more. Yeah, it's limited now. He's getting older. Oh, he's gonna win by count out? Is Elias gonna... Oh, no. no. <laughs> he ran back outside. Oh, there you go. Oh, Kane's sidewalk slam was fucking nasty. Oh, yeah, that was like a sidewalk. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And also, what was Big Boss Man's move? Uh, uh, same thing, though. Damn, man. Bam Bam's uh, moonsault, man, was fucking nasty, too. Oh, yeah, Bam Bam was a flyer. <laughs> That's crazy. For a big man like that, he can sure be agile. He's like ten times the... Ten times... The size of the flyer, yet he flew like someone mass, massively smaller than him. Yeah, the one that reminds me of Bam Bam Bigelow today is Ace Romero. He's he f he's a big guy and he flies all over the place. I feel like now, correct me if I'm wrong. If Brock didn't fuck up that that moonsault, Brock would have continued to be a high flyer. Well, they told him you can't use that move because, like, you're a big man, so big men don't do that. But he did a perfect shooting star press, though. In uh, OVW, yes, but in the main, in, like, in the main roster, he, he mistimed it. <laughs> yeah, that was scary. Yeah, no. he literally almost died from that. Oh, drag him. Drag him. Elias, 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 get the cover, get the cover, get the cover. Oh my, is Elias getting the cover? Oh! oh my god, Elias got the cover. He's walking with Elias. Jesus! Elias is walking with Elias. Here is your winner. Jesus, that was fucking Nate Elias beating Lance Archer, huh? Who would have funk it? God damn. Maybe yes. it's because Elias is wearing the Hulkster colors, red and yellow, maybe. Maybe, but maybe, I don't know. But that's, well, it's, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, your boy Aldo taking on Titus. Oh my, Aldo versus Titus. Damn. This is going to be either really good or a one-sided fist fight. And we will see when that bell rings. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Ozone Park, New York. Weighing in at 225 pounds, Aldo Montana. And his opponent from Live Oak, Florida, weighing in at 270 pounds, Titus O'Neill. There we go, your boy Aldo taking on Titus. Um, do you think Titus has what it takes to put Aldo away? Yeah, because it's Aldo. It can either like a uh, it's because you know Aldo is just there. He's talented, but 
I mean, he's he, there. Listen, the man's just incredible, man. Oh, he indeed, he's indeed just incredible. <laughs> he has a great future ahead, too. He has a great future ahead, I think. He does. Possibly. He's, oh, maybe. Can he fly? Titus, watch out! You son of a bitch. Titus, this isn't stomp the yard, man. Don't stomp your feet. Get in the fucking mat. Stomp the yard? Jesus. Been since I've seen that. I have never seen that or Drumline, but I've wanted to see them. I just never found the time of day to watch them, but I've always wanted to. I don't know how the hell I wound up seeing Drumline, but I saw it one day. It was <laughs> weird. <laughs> like how I managed to watch Step Up one time. I was like, how did I get here? <laughs> you just woke up one day and was like, how did I get here? <laughs> yeah. Like, you know how you see a movie and you're just like, how did I get here? Do you ever wake up in the middle of the night and you go into your kid's kitchen and go, how did I, what, what am I doing? Yeah, plenty of times, like, what did I come in here for? <laughs> Ooh, there you go, there you go. Oh, crowd's going What's nuts. What's happening? Is it going to be DQ? Crowd's going nuts. Aldo is going crazy. Oh, Titus is quitting. He goes, enough of this. Titus is quitting. He's like, I'm fucking done. You boy Aldo. Oh, is he gonna let him? No, nope, he's not. No, Aldo is not letting him. Damn! He's not getting out of this quickly. Aldo has that fire in him. Yep, he's going fucking crazy. Yes, he is. You see, he's going crazy. He is. So what'd you think about that, man? He wasn't going to let him leave the match. I gotta say, that's incredible. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, it's just, that's just incredible, man. Fly! No, I mean, that's incredible. His finishing move, he calls it. Oh. That's incredible. God damn it. Which is a tombstone pile driver. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, Aldo Montoya beating the shit out of Tice right now. Oh, yeah. Go pick him up. Pitch him back in. Here we go. Fly, fly, fly! There you go. Oh, he did a coup de gras. He did. Oh, this might be it, though. This might just be incredible, man. No! Oh. oh, he's doing a torture rack. Boom! No, wait, I'll go to sleep. Damn it. Yeah, that's smart. Move him away from the ropes. Just go to sleep, man. Yes, get it. Get it, Aldo. One, two, Damn. three. Aldo wins. Holy shit. He's sh on fire. Holy shit. Here is your winner. <sighs> Montana. Aldo showing he is the top dog in this, in this show, man. He's showing why he's a real Portuguese man of war. Exactly. Exactly. One star. One and a half. What? The crowd went nuts on that, man. Yeah. Axiom versus Hurricane. Two masked men. And with that being said, folks, we will get back to you when the bell rings. is scheduled for one fall making his way to the ring from madrid spain weighing in at 154 pounds axia And his opponent, weighing in at 215 pounds, the NXT Cruiserweight Champion, The Hurricane. Yeah. 
All right, sir, so we have our Cruiserweight Champion, the Hurricane, going one-on-one -on -one with Axiom. What's your opinion? Axiom? Is this non-title? Yes, this is non-title. Okay, so uh, Hurricane versus Axiom, two match men. Let's go. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Drop! Nice. Oh, oh, no, nice. Oh, damn it, oh, never mind. I thought it was over there for a second. <laughs> Me too. There you go. Yeah, nice. I, see, I see him working on them arms. Yeah, sir. Gotta take off the hurricane's arm. Damn. Oh, damn. Oh, reversal. Yo. These two are really going for it. Yo, Jesus. Bye bye. Oh, oh. Jesus. Nice. Oh. Be a contender for the light heavyweight championship, the cruiserweight championship, I mean. Ooh, true, true. What sounds better, light heavyweight or cruiserweight champion? Oh. Um. Ah. I liked the cruiserweight just because if you remember back in the day there was the th a thing such called as the cruiserweight tag team championships. Oh yeah, WCW. Yes, they were fucking gorgeous. <laughs> they were. They made them during the dying the dying days of WCW, like a month or two months in. Yeah. Like wow, what a way to waste money on your dying days. Yeah. <laughs> Well, they were good titles, like, the matches they had were insane. Yep. Let me go online and look up the Cruiserweight Tag Team Champions, and let me see what I can find. There was two teams that won it. Elix Skipper and some, somebody. And who was the other one? Kid Romeo? Oh my, I gotta look up, I gotta look this up, but anyway. While Rob is looking this up, Hurricane does a kip up. And Boom! Damn. That team's down, has a massive headache. Oh damn, so it was established March 18th, and it was retired March 26th. God damn it. Yeah, it was a short belt. Why so though? Good, but, good, but good matches. Who were the title? Who had them? So the first champions were Elix Skipper and Kid Romeo. The final right. champions were the Filthy Animals, Billy Kidman, and Rey Mysterio Jr. Right, right. That Filthy Animals, Billy Kidman, and Ray Ray. Damn, why? And that's when Vince McMahon bought WCW. That saddens me, man. Yeah, but imagine if there was a proper way of doing the WCW invasion. It yep. would have been great. Although DDP's debut was amazing, but then it started. <laughs> right. He came, it was amazing, but then it, he just went with it and it went down. Right. Someone's calling you, I think. Nope, nope, we're good. Nope, nope, we're good. We're good. Blah! Whoop! Catch! There you go! Sorry, kid. Yep. Well, Damn. Oh my god, Axiom pinned Hurricane. God damn. Does that, make her, does that make him the number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship now? Um, I believe so. I'm gonna have to check my my uh, my records and what are planned 
for Stand and Deliver. But yes, if there's a match open, then we will have Axiom fight. I know we have Wes Lee fighting for the world title. I'm not sure. Mm, that's going to be good. Yeah, so with that being said, folks, we're on our main event of the evening. And we'll get back to you when the bell rings. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Sydney, Australia. Weighing in at 206 pounds. The NXT North American Champion, Grayson Waller. And his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. Here we go, our main event. Sir, are you Grayson Walla? Or are you Johnny Gargano? I'm both. I like Grayson Waller and Johnny Wrestling. Boom! Like Grayson Waller. Took me a while to get used to him, but he's gotten way better. Yeah, you were telling me he was like bland when he was in NXT, but then he's like stepped up. Oh yeah, when he first started he was bland as hell. Because like he had no character, he had no charisma. Right. Yeah, but they worked on it over there, so now he's way better. Perfect. Was he in the UK? NXT UK? Yeah. I don't think so. Okay, okay, okay. I think he just showed up on NXT when 2.0 started because he came out of nowhere. Right, right, right. Oh, a three bound? There you uh, go! I think I just showed up on NXT 2.0 when it started. Like Vaughn playing the Creed Brothers. Oh, yeah, the Creed Brothers. Dig! Yep, what yep. What's that? What happened to Boa and Zia Lee? Um, Boa? I heard Zaya was injured, I believe. Yeah, and then there was Boa. He was there. And then he did nothing with him. Mm-hmm. Ooh, nice. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wrestling about to go fly. Damn. Oh, to the midsection. Holy shit. Oh, nice kip up. Get it back in the ring and end it. Get it back in the ring and end it. Get it back in the ring and end it, boys. Oh, the Walla just got back up. Yep, yep, yep. There you go. Oh, jeez, taking his legs. Perfect. Oh, nice. Get it back in there, Johnny. You know what it takes to be a champion. Back in the ring. Oh, yeah. There's a reason why you're called Johnny Wrestling. Yep. Keep it in the ring. There you go. Hey, don't pander. You're at eight. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, no, sorry. He was at six. My bad. I six, was, yeah. I I thought... thought... Wait, did you just step forward through time two seconds? <laughs> oh, there you go. That will be the worst time travel ever. Two seconds. Just two seconds in the future. Why bother at that point? Yeah. I was talking to a buddy at work today, and he, he asked me if I could have any superpower that wasn't the basic five or whatever, like super speed, super strength or whatever, uh, then what would it be? And I, and I was like, oh, I would love to be able to control emotions. And then he goes, but if you choose your superpower, then somebody gets to uh, choose uh, the um, effect of the superpower. I'm like, all right, well, yeah, I'll, yeah, I will stick uh, stick up with that. He goes, all right, well, every time you change somebody's emotions, you slightly go insane a little bit. Oh, damn. And I'm like, good God, I don't want to do it then. I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> there you go, Johnny. Boom. Attack the back of the head. Have I told you about the 
show Misfits, the United UK version? Yes. Yep. Yeah. So, have I, to I told you about the fifth season about that guy's power is basically fucking someone to get rid of their disease? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. What a horrible season. <laughs> Oh, Grace of the <laughs> what a way to end, what a way to end the show, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, human, humanoids links will always be in the description below. We're one step closer to stand and deliver, and then the Primus games. We'll see you in the next the one. Thank you so much. Peace.